The Pope wants those who study in universities or pontifical facilities not only to attain high-quality academic knowledge, but to receive the instruments to respond to the challenges of the world today. To achieve this, he's called for a renewal of these Catholic universities, which is explained in the Apostolic Constitution, Veritatis Gaudium. As part of the renewal, the missionary conversion that the Pope wants for all institutions. He wants it to be applied in our universities and faculties. Cardinal Giuseppe Versaldi has coordinated the preparation of this new law, which will oblige universities to revise their statutes to adopt them to the new mission. Pope Francis specifies it in four points. That the gospel be at the center. That a culture of dialogue be promoted not one of defense or attack. To show the unity in knowledge through an interdisciplinary and cross-disciplinary approach. To create networks between institutions of different cultures or countries. In order to not remain behind, one cannot simply repeat what has always been done, even if it's good. It must be translated into new cultural situations, in a secularized, multi-religious and multicultural world, to include processes of globalization of migration that brings with it new demands to which the church must respond. The new document includes some specific changes, such as indications for online classes or how to provide academic assistance to refugees. In addition, it will be obligatory to verify the teaching quality provided in each institution. Also in ecclesiastical studies, evaluation norms will be applied to superior studies like those in modern countries. Do not only stop at the class title, but ask about the quality of the knowledge that will be transmitted. The spirit of the document presents the idea of improving collaboration between pontifical universities, beginning with those in Rome. One of the themes will be to reorganize the Roman ecclesiastical faculties to ensure the added value of studying in Rome and avoid wasting energy, personnel and economic resources. To reorganize by creating specialized centers of excellence that offer a great quality service to everyone. There are currently 28 pontifical faculties and universities and 792 other Catholic academic institutions spread throughout the world. In total, they have almost 65,000 students and 12,000 teachers.